Did a vegan diet give the actor Liam Hemsworth kidney stones? The Australian actor gave an interview to Men's Health in which he mentions that his vegan diet gave him a kidney stone that required surgery. He also mentions that he would have a plant-heavy smoothie in the mornings that contained spinach, almond milk, and almond butter. And of course, those weren't the only plants he was eating as a vegan diet consists of 100% plant foods. So how could all these plant foods and vegetables have caused a kidney stone? You see, the most common form of a kidney stone is a calcium oxalate stone, and that was exactly the one that Liam Hemsworth got. And just like its name suggests, it's made up of calcium and oxalate bound to each other. So how could plant foods be related to calcium oxalate kidney stones? You see, oxalates are only found in plant foods, and the more you consume plant foods, the more you increase your blood levels of oxalates, which in turn can bind to calcium and create a calcium oxalate stone. So what are the plant foods that are especially high in oxalates? Fruits, especially berries, kiwi, fig, purple grapes. Vegetables, especially spinach, beets, Swiss chard, potatoes, rhubarb, okra, and leeks. Grains, especially wheat germ, bran flakes, and quinoa. Nuts, especially almonds and cashews. Legumes, especially peanuts and soybeans. Chocolate and cocoa. And tea, particularly black tea. So as you can see, a vegan diet is astronomically high in oxalates and starting your day with a green smoothie like Liam Hemsworth can cause an oxalate storm in your body, which would increase your risk of getting a kidney stones if you are genetically susceptible. That's another reason why I recommend that you eat as close as possible to the foods that our ancestors ate for over 99.99% of our existence as a species here on Earth. What diet would that be? The carnivore diet. To learn more about a carnivore diet meal plan, make sure you watch the video I filmed on the topic. I will also link it in the description box below. And no, you don't need to be afraid of red meat nor of a low fiber diet. I talk more about these topics in these videos that I filmed on the topic. I will also link them in the description box below. I want to also emphasize that cod liver oil might be an important supplement to add if you're not already taking it in order to decrease risk of kidney stone formation. This comes from the observation that kidney stones were virtually absent in the Inuits of Greenland who mainly ate fish and fish oil as a dietary staple. I will link to some good brands of cod liver oil in the description box below. I will also link a couple of videos I shot on salmon and omega-3 fats in the description box below. All right, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so YouTube alerts you the very next time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.